Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I talked to so many custom cowboy boot makers in 2020 and I learned a lot. So in this video, I want to share some of the best moments from each one of these conversations. In fact, there were so many that I had to split this video up into two parts. This is part one. Let's get into it. Old boots got soul and I carry on this way and we get better. As I go through each section of this video, remember that you can find links to each and every one of these bootmakers interviews on this channel at the links in the description if you're interested in learning more about them and seeing their work. I want to start out with this popular question about custom cowboy boots and that's how they stack up against big brand off the shelf boots and what custom cowboy bootmakers think of some of these big brands. Well, I asked Jake Houston, a bootmaker in Nevada, this exact question, and he had some interesting insights. Where you think traditional bootmaking fits in the modern ep economics, um, where you know it's so much focus on the large manufacturers right now. Yeah, you know, I think we both need each other. Large manufacturers need uh, bootmakers, whether they know it or not, and bootmakers need large manufacturers because if we if we had to keep up with uh making boots for everybody that wanted to wear them it never happened mm -hmm. you know there's just not there's not enough of us to be able to do that for one and for two i you know with how fast you'd have to make them and all that the the quality would go downhill so i you know you'd end up just running a small manufacturing place anyways so i think it i think we work together just fine uh, we need each other because um, without without a large manufacturing company, there wouldn't really be a place for us. Uh, you know, like what what they do makes our craft more special. Speaking of everybody having their purpose in the market, I spoke with Matt Deffer of MD Custom Boots in Texas and New Mexico, and he had some thoughts of his own on this question as well. Just the big brand boots all together how do you feel about them in texas we say this saying just a little bit different but we'll clean it up for tv uh there's a rear end for every chair and so there's a boot that's being made in china but it's cheap and we can get it on somebody and guys will use it and wear it uh there's nothing wrong with that nothing at all uh now then you go to some of the handmade cases and stuff like that where you get better quality but they're still using inferior parts to a, to a degree they're not 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 majorly but they're still a big company trying to make the best money they can you know and that's where it falls down is is the big companies are trying to make the most money they can and they mo make the most money they can because you buy more boots they buy you want more boot more boot more boot more boot and so uh that's what they're doing and then you go into the one-man shops that are doing everything they can for you not to come back and buy a new boot now that being said we want you to come back and buy a new boot but we're going to do everything you can we can to make that boot last longer is what that statement was mm -hmm. not not don't don't come buy a new boot for me no that's absolutely not when i get a customer and then i get a repeat customer and then a repeat customer and a repeat customer dude you want to talk about happy people it makes me feel good inside there's a rear end for every chair and they are making things that are usable and they're it might it might get somebody into a cowboy boot for the first time and then them say hold on a second there's these guys doing really cool things and I want to try that out too. And and the good part about that is once you jump into our ship, you ain't going home, boss. <laughs> so how do you make that jump to the custom cowboy boot ship? Well, I spoke with legend boot maker Lisa Sorrell, and she had some interesting things to share about how you can make the jump into the custom cowboy boot world. How does someone who has never tried custom boots appreciate the difference enough to make the investment i would say work your way up I, i'm not i'm not the starting point for most people 
But if you reach a point where factory boots off the shelf aren't fitting you well, or you're not getting the options that you want, then find a boot maker at a price point you can afford and try it out and experience. I mean, the fit is really the most amazing thing. It's going to fit so well. And then the option to choose your colors and your design. And maybe you'll stick with that boot maker forever. And maybe you'll continue to look around at boot makers, but you know, dip your toes in the water in a way that you can afford and see what appeals to you and how much it appeals to you. And then, then just keep going if that's what you love. I love it. That is, that's, that's a great answer is just to like work and sort of, um, play around with different styles and different personalities and different people. You know, working with a bootmaker is a relationship. You need to find the bootmaker that clicks with you. I've had customers that, you know, they say words at me and I say words at them, but we never quite communicate. And then I've had other cu customers that we just click immediately. It is like a relationship. So after you find the right custom cowboy boot maker for you and you get your boots made, how can you expect those boots to feel when you put them on for the first time? Well, Dustin Lau, a custom cowboy boot maker in Texas, has some thoughts to share on this as well. Do you find that that's a, a common problem when people come to you to get custom boots for the first time is that they think that they might be too tight from say off the shelf boots and how they fit? Oh yeah, absolutely. So first time custom wearers always have to kind of coach them through what to expect. And I've used that same, give them two weeks if we need to make adjustments. So most people are used to wearing a, a factory boot that doesn't have an arch support. The arch support on a pair of cowboy boots is everything. Um, you know, I, Jeremiah, I can never claim to be corrective, but I do know that if you support the foot correctly, you take care of knee problems, you take care of sciatic nerve problems, shoulder problems. You know, one of the biggest misconceptions about cowboy boots is that they're uncomfortable and you can only wear them for a few hours. And, and that's the furthest thing from the truth. If you have a proper fit and if you're supporting the arch, you can wear a pair of cowboy boots 24 hours straight with no problems. So fit is one of the biggest draws into getting custom cowboy boots, but what about fashion trends and styles? Well, I asked the Mad Taylor in Montana about this and how it affects his work. Some of the trends um, that have influenced you. I don't really care about trends, honestly. I care what I like and most about every customer that I have dealt with is here because they like what I make myself or like the style of things that I make for other people. Somebody wants a pair of boots, but then a lot of time they like the little conversation, a little guidance. And once you walk them through a couple of scenarios, they, they feel better. They pick better materials, the be better choice for the end result. So you actually end up making a better boot versus like, not just boot, anything. It's versus making something super crappy and super fast just for the back, you know? You can make a back making something nice. You have to educate the customer, always. You can't expect uh, somebody that just, I mean, everybody likes good stuff. You know, when you see a nice pair of boots, you cannot deny it. This is a nice pair of boots. You may cost 40 bucks, you may cost 4,000. Who cares? It's a nice pair of boots. Not who cares, but you know, People like to know who made it, why is it so cool, and why is it uh, so popular. So I guess that's them. But what I'm trying to do here is that handmade shoes, one of a kind, a little bit more artistic and involved. You know, I make it for a customer, not for somebody that I don't know. Yep. So that changes the game. It, it changes the outlook of like, you know, that's your baby. You and somebody just create a pair of boots. After you've created a pair of boots with your custom boot maker, they will last extremely long. But because they see so much wear, they will eventually need to be repaired. I spoke with Alyssa Leno White, a boot maker in Wyoming, about the repair process and actually learned something really unique. 
Yeah. So, you know, a pair of cowboy boots custom made, depending on obviously how often you wear them and how you're wearing them and how you care for them, because those are important factors in la making your boots last as long as possible. Um, you know, making sure the leather doesn't dry out here in Wyoming. That's a huge issue um, because we're dry, like dry. <laughs> so you have to make sure they're conditioned and you cannot let them they start to crack and fall apart. And, and even that is repairable on a pair of custom boots. You can have them ripped apart and relasted and put a new vamp on. The term revamping actually came from the custom cowboy boot world. Like if you, like it, it dawned on me one time, I was like, oh, oh, that makes sense. Because you're literally, that's the piece. You're revamping it. And it kind of grew into renewing different in, in different industries. Um, oh, that is awesome. I love the history of it. I never realized. You don't always think about it. <laughs> so no, that's that's when you relast the boot is the revamp or like, so what is that specifically? Is, so I'll, I'll show you, you know, nice little model here. The vamp is the front piece, right? Yep. Lots of times holes show up in this area because this is where the foot bends. Once there get to be too many holes and patches are ugly, you can take this cut it open up the side, cut off the vamp, and put a new one on. So you're and literally still the boot fit you. and still have the boot fit you, put it back on a last, you know, if you have it custom done, they probably already have your measurements, um, you know, and did your boot in the first place. <laughs> and so, so that's, yeah, a fantastic part is this entire boot is repairable. So boots are durable, made to be repaired, but also look spectacular too. Another popular question that I get on this channel when talking with custom boot makers is what is the best exotic leathers, specifically for rainy or nasty weather? Well, I talked to Tommaso Arditi in Texas about this exact thing, and he had a good answer. What is the best exotic leather for rainy weather? I'm gonna come back to my favorite as usual, which is alligator. Um, it's an amphibian. I mean, it's, it's in the water all the time. So it's, mm -hmm. it's already ready for it. Um, something we're doing right now is beaver tail, which I'm sure is gonna be very good as well. Um, wow. But pretty much any, most skins should be good. Um, again, I'm partial to alligator. Why should I lie? Um, mm -hmm. But pretty much most skins, alligator, and you know, you can treat them as well for, for uh, waterproofing them. But off the top of my head, alligator, shark, uh, you can't go wrong with that. Um, but unless you're gonna be walking around in, you know, ankle deep water, if your boots are made correctly, you shouldn't have a problem. Even with ostrich, calf, if boots when they're lasted are lasted in the let the wet last method where the, the vamps are soaked in water first and they're in just the water, then it's not a shock that they get wet again. Uh, they may mm -hmm. get a stain, possibly, but they should they should be alright. But I, uh, to answer your question, I would go with the alligator. I would go with any animal that is uh, native to the water. The wisdom and knowledge of custom bootmakers always astounds me. If you know a custom bootmaker that you'd like me to interview on this channel, please leave their name in the comments section below and I will do my best to book them here in 2021. So don't forget to subscribe for part two of this video because it's gonna be awesome. There's lots more custom boot makers that I talked to last year with lots of great wisdom to share. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace. When these folks make quality custom footwear, is it any surprise they got quality advice to share? Well, I'm not surprised. I'll see you next time. Keep a lookout for part two. Maybe it's right over here. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe right down below. And I'll see you next time.